So I've already created a rig for Suzanne. And we have two driver bones named appropriately. Driver eyes small and driver eyes wide. Next, we're going to select the model and create two blend shapes. We're going to call these eyes wide and eyes small. And with them selected, we go into edit mode. And with X mirroring enabled, we turn on proportional editing and we just scale them up. Then we select the eye small and we repeat that process. Now, right click on the value box and add drivers for both blend shapes we've just created. Make sure to uncheck show selected. At this point, you can see the two that we've created. And we're just going to select the armature and the associated bone with the associated blunt shape. Now we're going to be doing this from the local space. And when we move the bone in a positive x direction, the value goes from 0 to 1. And we're going to repeat the process for the ice small blunt shape as well. Here I've already created an animation. We're going to export this now into Unity. So selecting everything with the model included. We're going to export FBX. And we're just exporting the model in the armature here. No animation data. So we're going to disable bake animations because we don't need that for this file. And you can just copy the settings here on the right side. Now we're going to repeat the same process, but activate the animation and again export FBX. This time we're going to check the bake animation box and make sure NLA strips and all actions are checked off just so we have the scene animation. And then we're going to name it Suzanne at jump. And this is so Suzanne is found by Unity as the reference model. One thing to keep in mind is you always need the model data exported with the animation when doing blood shape animation. Now we're going to create a avatar for Suzanne. And then go into the animations folder and assign the avatar that we just created to that animation. There we go, you can see it working in the preview with the blend shapes. Okay, now we're going to create an animation controller. And we're just going to drag in the jump animation we created. From here we drag the model into the scene and we set up our camera. Make sure you assign your animation controller to the model in a hierarchy. There you go shapes in Unity from Blender.